Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I've been writing a daily email and posting content daily for about a year and a half now. And almost every day I get the question, how do you come up with so many ideas for your emails and for your content? How do you come up with this seemingly never ending list of ideas to, to create emails around and write tweets around or create YouTube videos around? And so today I wanna to reveal exactly how to do that. The real secret to never running out of email ideas and content ideas for, for social media or wherever you're creating content. Now, most people think that it goes something like this. They think that I sit down, I stare at a blank screen and I just wait for a golden idea to just hit me or inspiration to hit me. And that's not really how it works. If I were to do it that way, if I were to just sit down and stare at a blank screen waiting for an idea to hit me, I would be staring at a blank screen for a pretty long time. So the real secret to having all these different content ideas is not to sit around waiting for it to hit you, it's to go out, experience and enjoy life and that's when your best ideas are going to come to you. Your best ideas are gonna come when you're not under the pressure of writing, when you're not staring at a screen. It's gonna come when you're out doing things and you're out experiencing life or you're, you're doing some hobbies, you're playing some sports, or you're just going out, maybe you're having a drink and you're just going about your daily life. That's when your ideas will come to you. So with that said, I want to give you some ideas of how you can go and start capturing things that are happening in your daily life and use that for content and use that to have a never ending stream of emails and ideas to use for content. So let's jump into those now. Number one is just the daily happenings in your life. So did something weird happen to you or something that made you mad or something funny happened or maybe you went to a restaurant and a customer was complaining or the server got your food wrong or they got it right and your food was amazing. These can all be used, these daily happenings in your life can be used for content and emails. So one of my best selling emails was an experience that I had with a local butcher about a year ago. So I went into the butcher and he was really good at selling all the products, the meats and sausages that they had there and upselling me. And I compared that to copywriting and sales. And that was one of my best selling emails at the time. So that was just a story from a local butcher shop that you wouldn't think to turn into an email, but it turned out to be one of my best selling emails for months. So that's the first tip. Just take these daily happenings and daily stories from your life and turn them into emails and turn them into content. So the second thing is hobbies, right? What are you passionate about? You can turn your hobbies into content as well. So I like to golf, I like to drink whiskey, I like to hang out with friends, I like to travel, I like to build my business and create content. So I can turn all these different things into emails and social media content, tweets and YouTube videos. So I, I already do this and I take all the different things, especially on my email list, I take all the hobbies that I'm doing on a daily and weekly basis and I turn that into emails. So you can do the same thing. What are you passionate about? What are your hobbies? And turn those into emails. So the third way is what you consume. And not many people think about this, right? But the TV shows that you watch, the movies, the books that you read, the podcasts that you listen to, anything that you are consuming or learning about, you can turn that into content and emails as well. So last week I watched an episode of that new show called Loki. It's on Disney Plus, And I turned that into a couple emails that did quite a bit in sales. And it was just from consuming and watching a TV show. And I, it gave me a few ideas of what I could create emails around. I went and wrote the email out and it generated a lot of money in sales. So whatever you're consuming, you can turn that into emails and you can turn that into content. Number four is origin stories, right? Is there something that happened in your childhood that really motivated you or shaped the way that you think or maybe a story of a turning point in your life, right? So one that I always talk about was when I was able to quit my job after building my business and I went from fat and overweight and 56,000 in student loan debt to quitting my job and building my, my own online businesses back in 2016. So any origin stories that you have from your childhood that really shaped your thinking or really motivated you or any turning points in your life, those are origin stories and you can use those for very powerful emails and content pieces. So just review your life, think about any turning points or any stories in your life that were really pivotal, that were really important to you, and take those out, list out those stories, and you can write an email around that. The fifth and final way to have an endless flow of email ideas and content ideas is to take a daily 30 minute walk. And do this without your phone. So do this for about, I do this for about 30 to 45 minutes every day. And this is one of the best things that I've started doing in the past year. I'll go out and I'll take a 30 to 45 minute walk. I live in Seattle, so sometimes it's raining and I still go out and take that walk. 
but some of my best ideas have come from me taking these walks without my phone, without anything to distract me, and my brain is just going to work, my subconscious is going to work, and I have all these ideas that come up that I wouldn't have had if I was just sitting at a screen staring at my computer. So make this a part of your daily routine. Take a 30 minute walk without your phone, without anything else, just go and you'll be surprised at how many ideas that you have, and as soon as you get back, capture those ideas in your phone or on a notepad, whatever it is. So those are the five ways that you can have an endless flow of ideas for, for emails and for content. Number one is just happenings in your daily life. Number two are your hobbies. Number three is what you consume, TV shows, movies, books, podcasts. Number four are your origin stories. And number five is to take a daily 30 minute walk and that's gonna give you a lot of ideas and do this without your phone. It's gonna give you a lot of ideas when you have nothing else to distract you. So that's the real secret to coming up with an endless flow of ideas for or your emails and your content is to go out and experience and enjoy your life and that's when your best ideas are gonna come to you. It's not from sitting around waiting for inspiration or golden ideas to hit you, it's about going out, experiencing life, and then capturing the ideas and stories that you can use and turning that into content. So I hope that helps you if you've been struggling to come up with email ideas or content ideas, whether for yourself or for a client of yours. These five ways should help you come up with an endless flow of ideas for your emails and content. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you want more content around writing emails and coming up with ideas for emails, make sure you go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group for you to join, and I share a lot more content around email marketing, email copywriting, and content creation in that group. So that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.